everybody and welcome back to my channel where we have something very fun planned today. Have you ever seen a fine looking lady walking by and you're thinking, whoo, what's under there? Or you see a guy strolling along and you're thinking, whoo, what's he packing down there? Well then you may just be a pervert or a sexually curious child. But nevertheless, you're definitely gonna wanna have a pair of these in your Creeper Toolkit. These are x-ray glasses or x-ray specs, which claim to allow the user to see under people's clothing and even see through things like flesh. In other words, see bones. Ooh. Of course, the concept for these glasses couldn't even have been thought of until 1895 when real x-rays were first discovered. X-rays are a high energy form of electromagnetic radiation that is invisible to the human eye. It's essentially the same stuff as visible light, but the light that we see has a much lower energy level than x-rays. X-rays are especially useful, as most of you know, in medical imaging, where the high energy x-rays travel through the tissues of the body and pass through an x-ray detector on the other side, where an image is formed representing the shadows formed by the objects inside the body. Although x-rays could not actually penetrate through solid dense objects, the imagination of the public went wild with this new technology, thinking that x-rays could do everything from penetrating through walls, to boxes, to clothing, etc, etc. And this fantasy was brought to life with things like Superman, who could use his x-ray vision to see through solid materials. And it wasn't long until x-ray contraptions were on the market, like the x-ray wonder tube in the late 1890s. The wonder tube is a wonderful toy which affords and creates astonishment among young and old. It shows the bones of the hand, the lead of a pencil. It's a baffler to all. The x-ray electroscope in the early 1900s, same contraption, but with a metal base and this time a more sexually charged ad. Wonder of the age, see your fellow, best girl. In 1906, there was evidence of this coming from the Derby Supply Company, which offered this x-ray gift card, where for 10 cents, you could have yourself your very own x-ray card. A patent for the very first x-ray spectacles came out during this time as well. And this Rogan x-ray ad is one of my favorites. Here boys, just what you want. With this instrument, you can apparently see the bones in your fingers. <laughs> they knew, you know, it was bogus and they're just trying to get around the fact to say it's like an illusion, but be like, apparently you can see the bones in your fingers. In 1968, there was the spy pen offered to the public by the man from UNCLE. Apparently developed by the German secret service service during World War II that allowed the user to see through walls. But of course, these x-ray contraptions didn't actually let you see through objects. I know, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to burst your bubble, but in fact, this was all just a grand illusion that could be achieved via a few different methods. All devices utilized lenses made up of a variety of different materials, usually cardboard, which had small holes cut from the center to sandwich a small transparent material in between them. To achieve this illusion, within the transparent material was either small etched parallel lines or the tiny barbs of a feather. In all cases, the illusion was the same. Light was diffracted, creating the appearance of two offset images, with the overlapping of these two images appearing darker within the center, along with a lighter outline, which resulted in an almost X-ray-like appearance. So these glasses that I have here are actually like replicas in a sense of the old ones from the 1960s, which were created by Harold von Braunhut. And some of you may find that name familiar because I actually did a video recently on Harold and his sea monkeys because he's the guy that also invented sea monkeys. So if you haven't seen that video, it's pretty interesting. So give that a check out. So Harold ended up filing a patent for a new and improved X-ray spectacle that apparently utilized a stressed thermoplastic that was used here on the inside of that little itty bitty lens cutout. So if you take a look at his patent, it basically kind of states that he is improving upon the x-ray spectacles by using this stressed thermoplastic on the inside, but all of the 
articles that I read about Harold, about his X-ray specs, the history of X-ray spectacles, they all say that he utilized a feather on the inside. And a feather, like as I said before, is one of the ways that the solution was achieved. Perhaps he ended up using feathers later, maybe it was more cost effective, but just to me and what I got from reading his patent is that his spectacles were different from the feathers and that technology that was used because he was using a stressed thermoplastic here on the inside. Later, these glasses started to be made solely out of cardboard and not plastic for obvious reasons. We do have a little information around the glasses here and also we have this card that you're able to tear off. So on one side it says by day. By night one way, by day another. With the sky or any diffused light in the background, hold up your fingers to the light for an x-ray view of the bones. Hold up an egg to see the yolk. And on the back at night, look at street lights, traffic lights, headlights of cars, all bright points of light, Christmas trees, candles, and distant lights, etc. You won't believe what you'll see. It's magic! So essentially the instructions tell you that you need a good amount of light behind the object you are looking at in order to achieve that illusion. And I'm actually not too sure which method they are using on the middle lenses here to achieve that illusion, whether it's etched lines, the feathers, or a stressed thermoplastic. Because what I'm seeing here in this transparent area is kind of a dark film, a dark transparent film. It looks like it has a little bit of a pattern on that transparent material, and also there's this weird line going down the middle. So I don't know if that's like a piece of feather. I don't know if that's an etched line, but it really doesn't matter. So you know what? Let me, let me cut the chit chat. Let me strap, let me strap these glasses right on you. Okay, are y'all ready? Boom! Look at that. So there we go. That is my hand and it's pretty cool because it actually does look like an x-ray. But remember, it's just an optical illusion. The light diffracts through these glasses and that special transparent lens in the middle. And it's actually like two images and they're just overlapping. So the dark part is the image overlapping and then you're left with that trans, little translucent like lighter outline. Next item, I have this milk jug, which is definitely not expired. And I have definitely not been so lazy and not thrown it away for the last couple weeks, but whatever, this is a milk jug. And let's see if it distinguishes um, the liquid in there. So here we go. Okay, this is like the worst effect ever on this milk jug. I didn't know what I was trying to achieve because like, it's not like this milk jug has like a core or bones or anything like that. It's just some liquid. So <laughs> it's obviously not as cool as like my hands, which actually are supposed to have bones inside. So you know what? Let's, let's move on to a banana. Oh yeah, check out that banana on the inside. Check out that inside banana. Look at that tasty banana in there just waiting to be peeled. What's in here? What's inside this? There's a tasty banana inside. Next up, majority of the ads all said to check out an egg. So let us check out that egg yolk inside. Ugh. And here is the eggy. Oh, it kind of does look like there's a little yolk in there. The egg, the secret of life. Oh, my fingers look pretty cool with this egg too. Next up. Let's see this hot dog. Let's see what's inside this hot dog. So this is my hot dog. I didn't realize there was a core on my hot dog, but wait a second, what's that? Oh, weird. Someone seems to have taken a bite of my hot dog. Oh, <laughs> look at that. That's actually really cool looking at it head on like that. And here is Dante's peanut butter jar. He followed me all the way up the stairs wondering what the heck I was doing with his peanut butter. It looks like, it looks like heavenly peanut butter. And there's like a halo around it. Like this peanut butter like descended from the heavens and it's like, oh. Okay, so let's see if you can see through my clothes with these x-ray glasses. Oh, uh, no, 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 not working. Not worth the money. I'm half for the honey. She's half for the honey. So you better get x-ray glasses. Let's take a look at this angry muffin through the x-ray glasses. I can see your skeleton muffin. I can see your skeleton muffin. Oh, you're such a big muffin. Don't go muffin. Don't even think about it. No muffin, no! By day one way, by night another. Okay, let me, let me turn on our glasses. Turn on our glasses. Let me put on our glasses and let me shine this light into your face. So that prettiness is what you see when you look through these glasses at lights 
at night. So if you're interested in getting yourself a pair of these x-ray specs, I will leave a link down below in my description box. I think they're only like $5 American or something like that. I think they're very interesting for collectors. You know, it's very nostalgic. It's part of toy collecting history in a sense because you would see these all the time and you know, vintage comic books and advertising and whatnot. So for a collector, these are really cool. And for kids, they're really nifty because it's a pretty interesting optic illusion for sure. So in the comments down below, please let me know if you've ever had yourself a pair of X-ray specs. And you know what? If there's any other products out there that you'd like me to get my hands on, try to hunt down and find, be it vintage, somewhat newish, whatever have you, let me know and I'll try to acquire that and do a little review on it. So please remember, Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. I come up with new videos every week. Come check me out on social media and help support the channel on Patreon. So thank you guys so much for watching and stay legendary.